Alrighty, hey, how's it going, guys? It is your boy Mars, and today, as you guys see on my background, I'm pretty excited. We are going to tune some front wheel drive cars. I know there's a lot of guys that are tuners and they do tune rear wheel drive and all wheel drive, but not really sure on how to tune a front wheel drive car. I'm gonna show you the real way, the only way, and the best way of tuning a front wheel drive car. Now, let's get right to it. The car that you guys see on my background is the 1997. Uh, Honda Civic Type R. I'm going to show you right here. It's going to be this one right here. The 97, 97 Honda Civic Type R. Beautiful car. Great car. The best car to choose for the uh, drag scene when it comes to front wheel drive. And, one, and, and it is pretty tricky to tune one of these cars. But I'm going to show you guys all the steps. Everything I did to it. And uh, let's get right to it. So we're going to go to the upgrades. I already got the car fully built, fully customized. Got the paint job on it. The nice little carbon fiber in the front end and then i did all the little features on it so let's go right here to conversion let's go on here let's put this motor now this motor is actually another honda motor uh this motor is a uh, k swap motor uh, let's put this motor on there and then let's back out just like that and now we're going to put everything like the car is going to be a front wheel drive like always guys the car is going to be turboed so we are going to put the turbo on there i wanted i wanted you guys to have a nice turbo civic uh, so we're going to do that and now we're going to go to everything on here uh, all the parts of the engine parts and put everything on here as you guys can see it's going to be race 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 so we're going to put these cams we're going to put everything these valves so pretty much everything tuning a honda civic is a little tricky it is uh, but once you know the steps on how to make one it'll it'll, it'll that's just practice pretty much uh so we are going to put this the oil and cooling we are going to put that race uh then we're going to back out just like that the only way of making these cars on motorsports is going to be with the stock flywheel uh you, we don't need to put the other flywheel called come to transition so now we're going to go to the platform uh, we are going to put the brakes on there race pretty much everything here is going to be almost all race there we go race 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 and now the key thing one of the biggest things about honda civics that a lot of the tuners don't know um, is the weight now with honda civics has been since uh back when i remember forza motorsports 4 you do not not put a roll cage in hondas uh, front wheel drive cars this one per se does not like it with a roll cage. It likes it with the full weight, the original weight that comes with the vehicle. Um, and as in you guys see, I did not weight reduct it. You do not weight reduct the Hondas. You leave it with the full weight and no roll cage. Guys, the biggest tips you guys will ever, ever know on tuning a Honda Civic would be this. No roll cage, no weight reduction. Now, after you guys get that out of the, you know, get that out now we just it's just pretty much as soon as you learn that it's it's real simple now after that we're just going to put everything else is going to be race guys we're just going to keep on going put everything on here race um like always as you guys know the car is front wheel drive so we are going to put the drag tires we want it to be as sticky as it can and of course we are going to go all the way wide in the front we are going to go with the uh two 35s in the front i wish they were a lot wider but you I mean unfortunately you can't so you got to work with what you have right so we're going to put the 235s in the front and then on the rears we're going to leave it alone at the 195 then we're going to go to the rims and i did choose these wheels all the way down here which are the new wheels that they did add to this game uh which are these weld wheels really nice looking oh no actually these are uh really nice looking i love the way they look and uh so i put those on there and painted them black so besides that, oh, with the rim size, as you guys are going to see, the rims is going to be alone. Uh, it's normal, 15 in the front and 15 in the rear. Now let's go to the body kits, body kits. With the body kits, we are, I did put the front bumper on this car. Um, it's a personal preference. Um, it is, in a sense, uh, better to put the body kit, the full body kit. I'm talking about putting the spoiler and putting the back bumper and, and the size that it will give you more uh, weight to the car which gives you more traction which causes you to have your first gear a little bit shorter which will give you a better acceleration um, but if you you know either way if you don't know how to tune these cars you don't need the full body kit as you guys can see i just do the front bumper normally when it comes to boosted uh, but besides that um, i normally don't put a front bumper um, to the all motor uh, unless it's k sometimes i do put the k uh, front bumper on that but 
that's pretty much it i mean it's personal preferences um if you guys want to put the full body kit you guys can if you guys don't you guys don't have to uh, but on this car i did put the uh the spoiler and i did put the front bumper and that's pretty much it with that let me guys show you guys the tune really fast I already got this car pre-tuned. It took it takes a while to tune these Honda Civics, so I already have it already all pre-tuned and everything ready for you guys. So it's going to be 29.5, then 55, really fat rear tires. Uh, the fatter the tires are in the rear, since it's not rear-wheel drive, um, less footprint, uh, so that causes less drag, so it'll be a lot better for you guys. So let's go right here. First gear, or actually the final gear, the final drive is going to be at 2.20. Uh, first gear is going to be 2.60. Uh, second gear is going to be 2.10. Third gear is 1.70. Uh, and fourth gear is going to be 1.16. I believe the car is only going to be three gears, guys. It's not going to be four or anything like that. If you guys do want to fix the rest of the gears, you guys may. Uh, but it is going to be a three gear tuned car. After that, the alignment, everything zeroed out and seven with the uh, front caster. Then it's 40 and 40 with the uh, bars. Then I got the car pretty stiffed in the front at 600. And oh, real, kind of st as stiff, you know, not as stiff as the front, but it's pretty stiff with uh, the 500 in the rear. Honda Civics like to be really, really low. Uh, so we, I did put it all the way down on the front and rear at the 4.9s. Uh, as you guys can see, even the rebound stiffness is pretty stiff at the 7.5, 6, 7.5 and 6. Nothing with that, nothing with that. And then it's going to be 75 and 25. It's not 100 and 100. Um, Civics are a little bit different. I choose 75. My personal preference liked it that way. Uh, if you guys want to do 100 and 100, by all means, go ahead. But I like it the way it is. Uh, so besides that, that's pretty much the tune on the car, guys. Let's go to free play. Let me show you the launch on this car. And let's get right to it. So one of the most popular tracks is going to be Sebring. Uh, one of the most known tracks for drag racing is going to be this one right here. And uh, so, yeah, main reason I'm doing this is, guys, is for all the beginners that don't know how to tune. Um, it's just, you know, giving you guys a nice little um, showing you guys how to tune just basic tunes. I mean, even though some of these are out really good, um, they are. You can always fix them the way you would like to your personal preference. Um, just want to get the community community a lot bigger when it comes to uh, drag racing uh, To front wheel drive rear wheel drive or all wheel drive doesn't matter As you guys can see I'm just doing it all the Honda they uh, Sound vehicles is awful. I don't know why they did it this way um, They should have left it just from horizon or motorsport 6 to sound they Forza Motorsports just keep messing up over and over and over with certain little things that they don't have to. All they have to do is just fine touch on things. They already got this game pretty good. I just don't understand why they keep messing up the, the little things, you know? Simple, guys. Like my assists. Um, I have everything pretty much turned off. As you guys can see, even my brake is turned off. Um, everything is going to be turned off manual with clutch with cosmetic. Um, that's the only way of doing it, or that's the way I like to do it. If you guys do want to use um, braking assist, that's fine. You don't want the wheels to lock, that's fine. But the steering, you guys want it to be normal. You guys are not having a uh, steering wheel, and that's it. Traction control, you're never you don't. That's horrible. You don't. There's no need for traction control. It's just gonna make everything worse for you. It's gonna control your whole car pretty much, and it's gonna make your car be really really slow coming out of the the hole or the dig or the launch as you guys want to say it um so it's pretty much everything gonna be turned off um and it's really simple all you guys are gonna do now is just get to the line right here this is where everybody lines up we're just gonna press down the e-brake which is just a button then we are going to feather the gas with the rt button until the car holds right right there a little bit higher than 2000 if you put down on the d-pad it's the telemetry you can see on uh, general that it's at 2100 and the car's torque is at 208 foot pounds of torque at 32 pounds of boost uh, so that's really really good uh, so that all you got to do now is just really simple let go of the e-brake and you're off the car will do this little spin thing then it boom VTEC comes in you just let it bounce one time transition to second gear transition to third gear and that'll be it real simple guys you guys know me i like to make it my videos short and up to the point i don't like keep going around and around oh i just crashed it going around and around keep showing you guys um 
but yeah so pretty much that's gonna be it real simple car um i'm gonna do will make uh all motor tunes as well but for all you guys that are pretty curious on making hondas uh, and want to give it a shot here you go hope you guys like the video hope you guys subscribe give it a thumbs up and it is your boy mars and i'll be back with another tuning video peace out guys